Okay, you guys, it seems as though we have a resolution and some more information on the scam alert <clears throat> that I told all of you guys about earlier today. It looks as though I made a pretty big mistake and kind of jumped the gun without waiting for my husband's investigative skills to kick in, but I was in such a hurry to try to safeguard all of you guys and to let Couponing Forever know that she had been, not really hacked, but that someone had stolen her identity, that I hurried up and, and did all that without really letting him do his job and check further. Turns out that when he typed in the name that I could remember from the email, of course, I told you guys that the email address had been uh, either changed or deleted or whatever happened to that mailbox today. And what had made everything seem so much more suspicious is that because I couldn't gain access to those emails anymore, because there was no more correspondence from the emails and then whenever couponing forever told me i don't know anything about it putting all those pieces together for myself led me to think okay wait a minute her identity has been stolen and something's up here so all i could remember from the original emails was a first name so he took the first name and then he also took the information we had from tracking with the post office from the package that was originally sent to her he took that information along with the first name that I could remember and using his fine detective skills, he was able to locate a person by that name in a particular city and it pulled up a picture for him. Well, when I looked at the picture, I said, that is definitely not couponing forever. So who in the world is it? So then my kids put their brains together and my daughter with being real savvy with social media and Instagram and all of that kind of stuff, through a bunch of work this afternoon, we were able to finally determine that believe it or not, there is another couponing forever. That's legit what she goes by, couponing forever. She has a totally different name and so far as I know, even lives in a totally different city than the original one that I had assumed that I was making a pocket letter for. But because I didn't know all of that, then naturally when the emails disappeared today and whenever the regular couponing forever didn't know what I was talking about, suspicions arose. So in trying to protect all of you guys, it looks like I definitely jumped the gun and put an alert out there that that shouldn't have ought to have been. I guess it is legit. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see in the next couple of days if I do in fact get a pocket letter. One is supposed to be on the way. And it really isn't so much about the pocket letter. That wasn't the, the point to all of this. The point to all of this was to be very careful about people who tried to scam you because there are a lot of people out there. Somebody had commented on the original video about my husband being in law enforcement and want to know, you know, why do people do these kind of things? And there are all kind of reasons. Either A, the person if it had been real, the person could have known couponing forever and either through being upset with her or whatever, could have been trying to smear her name. Or some people just actually get a high off of thinking they have scammed somebody. It wouldn't be about whatever they scammed them out of at all, if that makes sense. In other words, it wouldn't have been about the pocket letter itself. It would have been about the fact that they were able to scam someone and pull one over, if that makes sense to you. There's all kinds of reasons why that we have found through the years with his kind of work, why people do some of the things that they do. This situation, of course, doesn't mean there aren't scammers out there and it doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't be careful. Everything that I said in that first video stands true. I've taken the video down just because I didn't want any more negative uh, thoughts towards couponing forever because she was completely innocent in this. And I had said that in the original video that someone was using her name. Turns out they were using really their own name, but who knew there were two of them. So there's actually two of them. And it appears that this whole situation really is legit and that it was totally my mistake just based on circumstantial evidence that happened this morning and all the weird stuff surrounding the emails and all. Still don't know what's happened with all of that, but... 
at any rate, that's where we stand. So I wanted to make sure all of you guys had an update that all of you knew that it wasn't couponing forever's fault, but a lot of you were rallying with both of us thinking we had been the victims of some kind of scam that apparently we weren't victims of at all, it seems, so far. <laughs> so really, who knows what the end result of it'll be. But anyway, at any rate, just want to let you guys know I got your back. If something like this were to happen again and it was a, a real scam, next time though, I think instead of putting it up first, I'll let him do his job and get to the bottom of things before I jump out there. I just definitely didn't want any of you guys getting getting hurt or roped into a scam if it really was one. But next time, I will wait till we find out for sure from him and let him do his job. So anyway, thanks to my husband and my two kiddos, we've gotten to the bottom of everything, and it appears as though couponing forever is not under attack and that her identity was not stolen for an ill purpose. So that's good news for everybody concerned. Just wanted to give you that little bit of update. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.